design creation in Lab Console is designed to be intuitive and allow end users to conduct the right experiment, not just the easy one. To write a plan or experiment in Lab Console, you first need the Plan Editor application open. If you are writing a new plan, first select the New Plan button. If you have a parallel system, then you will be able to select which reactor you wish to write the plan for. If the reactors have the same functionality, then a plan written for one reactor can be applied to all reactors. Once a reactor is selected, press the Create New Plan button. A new plan will then appear. Here, we see a single step with no active controls. To add controls to this step, look at the Details menu on the right hand side of the screen. Here, you will see a Add Controls icon. When this is selected, a drop down menu will appear with all the devices you can apply a control to. Let's select the Mantle device. We then have a list of all of the controls that a Mantle has available. If we select Constant Reactor, we can give this a set point of 100 degrees C. Further down in the details menu, we can add a step termination. Step termination will move the plan from one step to another. Once selected, a list of parameters that can act as termination conditions will appear. Here we select the reactor temperature and in the details menu, we can enter a value of greater than 100 degrees C. More steps can be added to this plan by selecting the Add New Step icon. Plans can be saved by selecting the Save icon. These can then be named to however suits you and will be the default name in the database. Existing plans are loaded using the Open icon. To run a plan, the plan first needs to be loaded into the reactors. You can select for the plan to be loaded into all reactors at the same time. Using the multi-system control, you can also start these plans at the same time by selecting all reactors and then selecting the start plan icon. You can then change the default data table name if required. You can then start all of these plans by pressing the Start Plan button. You can now see all reactors are running a plan, as displayed by the timeline. You can see the active plan by looking at the individual reactor's System Viewer app, as we have set up within its own tab. All plans can be stopped at the same time by accessing the multi-system control and selecting the Stop Plans and Logging icon.